Good afternoon everybody, it's Carol here from aquahaven747.com. In today's video I'd like to share with you my shed makeover. As you can see behind me, it's finally done! My shed transformation has been a long time coming and uh, I guess it was about year and a half two years ago I saw this shed and it inspired me to uh, do a little mini makeover on mine so my shed is actually a triple shed and um, I think it started out as two sheds and then they added on to it um, for a third section um, but it become quite dilapidated um, they'd used chipboard for siding which is terrible um, and the bottom edges uh, were starting to rot. Um, so anyway, it was really quite an eyesore for me. And um, after getting other priorities done with my house, I thought it was time to finally start working on the outside. Fortunately, I have sons that are quite handy. So all the uh, lower sections were cut out. Uh, so the rotten... Uh, chipboard and wood was removed and replaced with some good plywood that had been salvaged from another project. The wood on the east side soffit also had to be replaced. They also uh, put new shingles on for me and uh, eventually uh, the plan was that they all the house and the shop and the shed would be the same color. There was a little tree growing right at the base of uh, the uh, west side. So um, my honey cut that down for me and also trimmed off some of the branches and the uh, trees that were behind it. After the repairs were done, the painting started with the uh, fascia and soffit and uh, it went from a dark brown to a white. And then the uh, siding if you want to call it that, uh, started getting painted gray. Now I still needed to get the doors fixed and the trim put on so that they uh, looked like the little barn doors in my inspiration photo. Um, the middle door had some damage at the uh, top of it because the uh, screws in the top hinge had started to come loose and it actually broke the wood that was in front of it. And the double doors on the far uh, shed also were very difficult to um, open so I wanted to get those fixed uh, before I painted the doors and we discovered uh, when we were taking a close look at them that the uh, hinges were mounted in between the inner wall and the outer uh, outer wall that uh, they put the board and batten on now this is supposed to be a budget makeover so I did not want to rip it all off and rebuild the doors or do anything like that. I just wanted to clean it up and make it look a lot, little prettier and more presentable. So um, we decided to leave the original hinges there and um, just use the new hinges more for decoration. So we finally are getting at the shed doors. Uh, we've got all the trim off and uh, that's where we're we're at for tonight so hopefully within the next week someone can come and finish them okay so got my first door done and painted just have to do touch-ups maybe and put the handle and the hinges on since we're running out of time, I've decided to pre-paint as much of these doors as possible and then I'll finish with the trim afterwards. I'm just going to touch up over there too. Well, I have finished uh, painting the initial coat on those other two doors. So hopefully I can get the trim done on them and then we can put the new hardware on and uh, it'll be done. Well, the doors are finally coming along. Um, and apparently I need to get another piece of strapping. So uh, I'll go pick that up tonight and then hopefully tomorrow 
we can finish them off finally before it gets too cold it's supposed to be really nice on thursday coming up so i'll finish doing the last bit of painting and then i'll be ready for the winter okay so the trim is finally on the doors i just have to paint those and then tomorrow we'll put all the new hardware on okay so i finished painting the shed doors here and i don't have to that kind of paint so i won't be able to do any touch-ups uh, this year if we need them um, I was thinking next year I might go over it one more coat but with a, a flat finish um, this is a flat finish here too on the shop and um, they're supposed to be the exact same paint but there is a little bit of a difference I notice it maybe other people can't but um, and I don't know if that's partly because uh, the shed was originally brown so some of the brown is coming through um, but it's gonna be good enough for for now and I can't wait to get the hardware on and then I can finish this up I don't know why things just can't be easy and go as planned but uh, that's usually the way when you get into um, little rental projects now when we um, put the new hardware on we had to drill through the original hinges uh, that were mounted below it um, as I mentioned before the hinges uh, are purely decorative here. Uh, we also had to bend the um, latches a little bit. Now they're gate latches, but we can still put a lock on them. So that is it. We are finally done. Um, now next year I may want to do uh, another coat of paint. I ran out of paint. I ran out of time. It's gotten way too cold to paint outside now. So um, at least it looks somewhat uniform and I think it looks a lot better than it did before so I hope you got some um, ideas for inspiration or some tips that will help you with your makeover and I will see you in the next one